Hey guys, Buzz here with VaporizerWizard.com, and today I will be reviewing the Mighty Portable Vaporizer. Now the Mighty is a portable conduction convection hybrid made by Stores and Bickle. It offers on-vape temp control, an LED display, and one of the most powerful battery systems on the market. Now the Mighty is currently one of my highest rated portable vaporizers for overall battery life. I can get up to 90 minutes of average continuous use, which is outstanding for a portable vaporizer. Now in terms of bowls, that's about 6 to 8 on average. Most portables I can get about 3 to 5, so this is a beast of a portable vaporizer. Now the Mighty ranks highest in categories like battery life, ease of use, consistency, and build quality. It's also made by the same company that produced the Volcano, the Plenty, and the smaller portable vaporizer, the Crafty. I also have reviews for both the Crafty and the Volcano, which you can check out here on YouTube. Now at the time of this video, the Mighty retails for $399. You can click the links below in the About section to get the current price, and a full review on my website. So in this video, I'll go over the features and show you how to use the Mighty. I'll talk about the battery life and charging, followed up by a vape session, pros and cons, and show you where to pick one up. So here is the Mighty Vaporizer. It has the same industrial look and feel as the smaller Crafty, but comes in at over twice the size. Now the Mighty is a different type of portable vaporizer, and it's almost in its own category, and not because of vapor quality or battery life, which is awesome by the way, but because of its size. It's roughly the width of an iPhone 6S with a case, but about an inch and a half thick. So yes, I can get the Mighty in my pocket, but I really don't want to unless I have to. It conceals much better in a hoodie, purse, or backpack. The exact dimensions of the Mighty are 5.5 inches tall, by 3.2 inches wide, by 1.2 inches deep. Now the Mighty is also one of the heaviest portable vaporizers on the market, coming in at 230 grams. Now by comparison, the Crafty weighs 130 grams, the Pax 2 weighs 90 grams, the Firefly 2 weighs 141 grams, the Grasshopper weighs 55 grams, and the Haze V3 is about 193 grams. So I'm not a huge fan of the size if you plan to be carrying around the Mighty in your pocket on the go, but it's totally fine for carrying around the house or bringing to a friend's place. Now if you prefer vaping in groups, the Mighty is also one of the very best portables for the job. Despite its size, the Mighty fits pretty nicely in the hands, it's easy to pass around, and the chamber is really easy to load and unload. Now it's also extremely consistent, requiring no technique or practice, and has a very free-flowing draw. If you're looking for a smaller unit, I also have an article up on my site comparing the Mighty and Crafty, which you can check out in the About section. But be aware of these sacrifices such as half the battery life, slower heat up speeds, no temperature control without the phone app, and a bit of reduced overall reliability to get the smaller form factor. So in the box you get the Mighty Vaporizer itself, the cooling unit, and the filling aid which I'll talk more about later. And then you also get three spare screens, a cleaning tool, a concentrate pad, and a set of spare seals. So let's go over some of the features. First up is the heater, chamber, and cooling unit. The Mighty uses a hybrid conduction and convection heating method, and I find the Mighty's heating provides some of the most consistent vapor with no technique required. It also provides good vapor quality and extremely even AVB. The chamber can hold up to 0.3 grams with a finer grind, but a typical chamber size for me is around 0.15 to 0.2 grams with a coarser grind. Now the Mighty works very well with either fine or coarse grinds, but I do find that a very fine grind causes more cleaning, so I generally stick to a coarse grind. Now the Mighty also works very well with varying load sizes. You can load as little as 0.05 grams and place the liquid pad over the top to get the best results. The Mighty also features a unique cooling unit on top of the vaporizer that routes the hot air through a longer vapor path, giving it time to cool down before it reaches your lips. And in my opinion, the vapor temp, smoothness, and taste from the Mighty are some of the best currently on the market. The daily maintenance is easy, but the full cleaning will take a bit. For the most part, I will just brush out the chamber after a session and blow or brush the screen on the bottom of the cooling unit. Now the longer cleaning requires you to take apart the cooling unit and clean all of the parts, screens, o-rings, so I'll create an entirely new video for the Mighty and add an annotation to this video when it's up. Now a full clean can take 5 to 20 minutes depending on how much it has been used since the last cleaning. Now if you really want to, you can go an extremely long time without fully cleaning the unit. We are talking 100 plus bowls, but the longer you go without cleaning, the more draw resistance you will get and the taste will also slowly drop off as well. So I found the sweet spot for me to be around 20 bowls, which keeps the flavor good and keeps the cleanings pretty easy and fast. Now I have talked to some other people who essentially never clean their cooling units and others who clean their unit only after a few uses. So it totally depends on how often you will be using it and how often you want to clean it. 
You can even just pick up extra cooling units if you didn't want to deal with the cleaning that much. Some people even have two or three and keep them in rotation. I definitely recommend the Mighty Wear and Tear set if you're a heavier user or planning on using concentrates. The set comes with some extra screens, you get an extra cooling unit, three mouthpieces, and four extra concentrate pads for $34.90. Moving on to the battery life and charging system. Now the battery life is extremely impressive for a portable vaporizer. The Mighty uses two internal lithium ion rechargeable batteries and on my first use I was able to get eight full sessions in before the battery died. Now on average I get between 6 to 8 sessions which is still really good. The Mighty is one of very few vapes to offer full pass through charging which means you can use it while charging and the charger input is stronger than the heater output so it could be used indefinitely while charging whereas something like the Crafty which has partial pass through can be used while charging but the battery will still slowly die just not as fast if it was not plugged in. So to charge the Mighty just plug in the charging adapter. I found that it takes about 2 hours to completely recharge the Mighty and then it can be used while charging as long as you have about 5% charge first. So let's go over how to use the Mighty. First things first, we're going to load a bowl with some ground up herb. Now like I mentioned earlier, my preferred amount would be 0.15 to 0.2 grams and I tend to pack it down slightly. Now since the herbs tend to taste best when you finish the entire chamber in one session, I generally avoid splitting a bowl into multiple sessions but it is possible. Just be aware that the taste will drop off and the effects will definitely be weaker your second go around. So now that we have the chamber loaded, we'll turn the unit on and select our temp. Now to turn the mighty on, press the orange power button located on the side of the unit. The unit will vibrate and turn on showing the current battery life, the default selected temp, and the actual temp. Now my preferred starting temp on the Mighty is around 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius and then I will bump up the temps as the session goes on. So I also tend to start the temps higher if I'm using the Mighty with glass at home but I'll get more into that later on. The Mighty ranges from 90 to 120 seconds to fully preheat which is better than the Crafty but still above market average. Most conduction vaporizers are preheating in less than 60 seconds nowadays and multiple convection units are ready to vape in less than 5 seconds. Now the Mighty is really king of session vapes and works best if you have time to sit down and really enjoy the cool, seemingly endless amount of tasty vapor. So with that said, let's jump into the vape session. I've already loaded up the Mighty with some herbs out of my Santa Cruz shredder and set the temp to 390 degrees Fahrenheit which is 199 degrees Celsius. Now I usually start my sessions out around 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius but I'm trying to get some denser clouds for the camera. The lower temps will produce cool, tasty vapor, whereas the higher temps will push out denser, more potent clouds. The higher temps will complete sessions much faster, but the taste and smoothness will drop off a lot quicker. Now one of the best features of the Mighty is the free-flowing vapor path. The Mighty has very little draw resistance and the heater is powerful enough to aggressively draw from the unit without it losing too much heat. So one of my favorite ways to use the Mighty is at home with glass. Now I've already made a quick video over on my Vimeo channel which I'll link here that talks about adding a water pipe adapter to the Mighty or the Crafty but I'll talk a little bit more about it here. So my preferred method is to use the whip adapter from the Extreme Q which I already had but you can pick it up from Vape World for $19.99. So then from here just remove the mouthpiece that comes with it and the tubing will fit like a glove right over the Mighty or Crafty mouthpiece. You then take the elbow adapter and plug it into a bubbler. Now I highly recommend the DO20D from Sunshine Store which is the model I'm using in this video right now. So if you decide to go with this combo you don't need to get the 18 to 14 millimeter reducer. The glass elbow connector will slide right into the DO20D. So now that we've covered pretty much everything about the Mighty Vaporizer, let's jump into my pros and cons. So the first pro would be the vapor quality. It's very smooth, the taste is extremely good, and the lack of draw resistance makes it one of the most free flowing vaporizers that I've used. Next up is the ease of use and consistency. The Mighty requires no special techniques or practice and works with any type of grind, packing density, or draw speed. Now next is the full temp spectrum via the LED display with on vape temp buttons. Being able to customize your session quickly on the fly is really extremely convenient. There's no app or smartphone needed to change the temps. So the first con would have to be the price. $399 is a lot to pay for a portable vaporizer, but on the other hand the Mighty is one of the most durable and reliable portable vaporizers that I've owned. The next con would be the size. For a portable unit, it's definitely at the large end of the spectrum. Now it does fit into my pocket, but I generally prefer to carry the Mighty in a bag, backpack, or hoodie. The next con is the heat up time. The preheat time is slower than the average market at about 90 seconds, but that's not really a huge deal breaker because the Mighty is made to be a session vaporizer. It's best if you have five to 10 minutes to sit down with it and really enjoy the cool vapor. Now the last con would be that the unit does not have replaceable batteries and no USB charging. So this is definitely a vaporizer that you will want to make sure is charged completely before you head out for the day. 
So overall, to me, the Mighty is the easiest and one of the most consistent vaporizers on the market. The Mighty is simple to use, it's easy to hold in the hand, and requires no technique or learning curves to get the best results. Now it's definitely not the easiest to conceal, but all the other features that matter like vapor quality, battery life, and overall reliability are fantastic. So bottom line, you get excellent vapor quality and an easy to use unit with outstanding battery life. Now you can pick one up or check out my full review by following the links down below in the about section. And as always, if you guys have any questions about the Mighty or any other vaporizer, feel free to leave a comment down below or contact me on my website vaporizerwizard.com. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.